argument of green bubbles versus blue bubbles is getting old. So even Google is tired of Apple being difficult when it comes to adopting a universal messaging standard. Since Apple continues to make it hard for non-iPhone users to have in-to-end -in encryption, tapping notifications and more, we're going to take a look at two apps that break the rules and let Android users send iMessages. Today, we're going to compare Beeper versus Sunbird. Now, both Beeper and Sunbird are messaging hubs, which lets you send and receive iMessages on Android. They also allow you to connect to other messaging networks, but more on that a bit later. Beeper can be downloaded on Android, Chrome OS, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows, and it's free. Sunbird is also free, but it's still in beta. In order to join the beta, you have to sign up on the waiting list, and I'll leave a link to sign up down in the comment section below. Now, both are trying to tackle the messaging disconnect between iOS and Android. Some people may not care about being able to send iMessages from Android, but if you primarily message other Android users, why would you? But if you message iPhone users regularly, then you're the target audience here. The outcome is both iOS and Android users now can communicate with each other using an end-to-end -end encrypted messaging service, thus keeping everyone safer, which is what Google argues when talking about this subject. Both of these services say you do not need an Apple device to add as a bridge. To me, that's only kind of half true. You don't have to own a device yourself, but both of these companies have Mac servers which add as a bridge for you. Both apps are end-to-end -end encrypted. This means messages are only viewable by the sender and receiver. Now, this is just a high-level explanation of these two services, so we're going to dive a bit deeper to see the differences between these two. Okay, let's start with the main reason for even downloading these apps. Both are able to send iMessages. So what's the difference? Well, Beeper works on Android, Chrome OS, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. The service is built on top of the open source matrix chat protocol, and I'll leave links down below explaining everything that way you can understand it. Now, all this goes towards keeping things transparent and safe and secure. In order to work, Beeper consists of two main components, the client app running on your device and a web service ran by Beeper. There are two ways to connect to this web service. By using the web service ran by Beeper, they will connect your Apple ID to a Mac that is solely dedicated for you in order to take advantage of iMessage. The other way is to self-host the service yourself. This, of course, is more advanced, but perfect for anyone with the technical know-how who wants complete control. In my experience using Beeper, messages went through without any issues 99% of the time. There are random times when one of the bridges may go down, but the Beeper team is quick at fixing these issues, usually resolving the issues in under a couple of hours. Sometimes it can take a bit longer, but either way, I have no complaints when it comes to using Beeper. Sunbird, on the other hand, is only available on Android. Their website has a roadmap which shows a web app will be available in the future, though. Sunbird says it takes 60 seconds to set up iMessage on your Android device. And when I set up my app, that seems about right. But that's because I already have an Apple account. If you need to create a new Apple account, then it will take longer, obviously. The service is also in the encrypted like Beeper. And the company says you don't need to own a personal Apple device yourself, which is true. And unfortunately, the app isn't open source. And as a result, how the app works isn't explained. Now, according to the website, Sunbird is the first and only fully featured iMessage for Android app. Now, while using Sunbird, I had a few problems where messages came in super slow. I had both Beeper and Sunbird installed on my Z Fold 3. With iMessages, they generally came in immediately with Beeper. But a lot of times, Sunbird did not receive the messages until after I shut the app down and reopened it. The company is still releasing updates to address any performance problems, so this will improve in the future. Now, between Beeper and Sunbird, when it comes to sending iMessages, I have to give the win to Beeper due to stability when it comes to sending and receiving the iMessages. Outside of sending iMessages, neither really offer the unique features of iMessage or other messaging service. Now, I don't mean typing indicators, larger limits for sending media, etc. I mean screen effects, which Beeper has a version of, but the iPhone user won't see them. Beeper does not have the ability to send voice messages from the mobile app, but the desktop version you can. Unless I missed it, but I definitely look for it in the, in the mobile app. Sunbird does allow for sending voice messages, which is shocking, honestly. Neither allow unsending messages, so triple check you're sending the right messages. In the same vein, you can't edit messages after sending them either, so again, triple check your messages before sending them. Beeper does offer inline replies though, which lets you reply to a specific message. Sunbird does not, as of this recording. Now, if you've always been an Android user, you won't notice any of this is missing, but if you're coming from an iPhone to Android, you most likely will. Now, it may not bother you though, but I still wanted to mention it just in case. But Sunbird looks more like an iMessage clone for Android, so I guess this one is kind of a draw. Now, both of these apps build themselves as a unified messaging app, and this means that both have the ability to connect to more than one chat network. Beeper can connect to 15 different chat networks, including some popular ones like WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, iMessage, and Instagram. I personally have Facebook, iMessage, Instagram, Telegram, and Slack all connected in Beeper. I can't tell you how useful this is. I love not having to switch between five different apps to respond to messages. Sunbird, on the other hand, currently has the ability to only connect to three at the moment, which is iMessage, SMS, and WhatsApp. 
In the app, it does show Facebook Messenger, Telegram, and Signal as coming soon. But Sunbird is still in beta. And according to the website, in addition to the above mentioned networks, RCS, Signal, Line, Slack, Discord, and Instagram, and many more will be added. Now, I have to give the win to Beeper here. Beeper gives users access to 15 different chat networks now. Sunbird only has access to three at the moment. If you're a person with a crap ton of messaging apps and you want to corral them all together, then Beeper is the best choice here. This next session will be short because both of these apps are free. Now, there's a bit more to say on this subject, though. Beeper is free to use, but there is an optional paid subscription called Beeper Plus you can take advantage of. Beeper Plus will include extra features, such as larger chat history backup, access to unlimited network connections, and more. But it isn't available yet. The website says at some point in 2023, they will begin charging $5 to $10 per month for Beeper Plus. Now, that's kind of vague, but the company does say they'll give a warning before automatically switching users to Beeper Plus. Over on the other end, Sunbird is free as well for the foreseeable future, according to the website. They said there's no reason to turn on paid subscriptions right now based on their current goal. That goal is to give iMessage on Android to millions of users. And once they complete that goal, that mindset may change. That means there isn't really a winner in this session, so it's going to be another draw here. Okay, so which looks better obviously is going to be subjective. So my two cents here is all based on how I feel. With Beeper, the UI may be kind of busy for some people. For instance, as I mentioned, there are a ton of services Beeper can connect to. As a result, you have a symbol for each network you're connected to over on the side. You can toggle between each connection by clicking on this icon though, which is useful. You can also see all messages in a unified view. Again, very useful, but can be cluttered. I do kind of like how colorful the icons are though. It adds a pop of color to the UI other than just black. Over on the other side, Sunbird is pretty straightforward. It is nowhere near as colorful, and the dark color theme I have set is the dominant color. It looks very clean though, very iMessage-like. Okay, that sums up the basis of what anybody considering downloading either of these would want to know. In my time using both, I have enjoyed Beeper mostly due to it being more stable. However, I'm excited to see how Sunbird continues to evolve and improve. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on both of these. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And check out these videos where I discuss both of these individually. This has been Norman Consumer, and I'll catch you on the next one.